RIT's free lecture series, Visionaries in Motion, continues tonight at 8 o'clock in the Webb Auditorium. YNN's Leah George sat down with the featured speaker. She joins us in the newsroom with a preview. Well, Ryan Knighton's style is more like stand-up comedy than classroom lecture. The Canadian-born author, screenwriter, and professor was 18 when he was diagnosed with a congenital syndrome that blinded him over the course of 10 years. Knighton thought the Visionaries in Motion series sounded like an opportunity. Hence the irony of the blind Canadian. <laughs> Knighton says the lecture series fit in with a trip to New York City. He's writing a film for the animator of Ice Age about a 19th century bisexual balloon aeronaut and a travel book called Nothing to See Here. The father of a four-year-old girl calls his book about being a blind dad nothing short of a thriller. Tonight, Knighton's lecture will focus on why human beings tell stories. The main side effect of being a blind person is that you're bored. That's the main affliction. You know, other people have conditions that cause pain, mine causes boredom. And uh, mostly what I do is, is try and amuse myself in a world that didn't imagine me in it. I mean, you can go to any mall or go to any cineplex and you realize very quickly as a blind person, they didn't think about you very much. and They don't really want you here. So I've spent the last 20 years trying to build a life and a writing life that, um, you know, cures me of my boredom. Knighton uses the famous Stephen Hawking voice on his computer when he writes and refuses to upgrade for fear of losing it. He also designs a new tattoo for himself every year. You know, it's like I have, you know, three blindfolded mice and then, they're, of course, they're hungrily looking at the eyeball on a mouse trap. Um, I have a blindfolded dragon. Everything I have is blindfolded. Uh, and I've never seen the images. Uh, and it's just sort of my own private thing. Though. Just because you're blind doesn't mean you don't get to have an image. And uh, I thought, well, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll do the very thing that you shouldn't do as a blind guy, which is make your own images.